I did get rid of the smell. Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the flood house. Mandy, Hannah, and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the flood house. Mandy, Hannah, and Norman are trapped inside. House is on fire! Again! Norman! Mandy! Hannah! I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam! Stay back, everyone! Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards Jupiter's blue flashing lights. <laughs> Sam, the cat is still in there. Okay, Norman, I'll find it. Better call Lizzie to come and check the cat's okay. The fire is out, Sam. Do you think the stinky cat is okay? He's fine. And even better, I found his owner, Mrs. Chen. I'm meeting her at my clinic. We never did find out who stole the Pincy Ponsonby diamond. Oh, I know that one. It was Colonel Ketchup. <laughs> oh, wait, or was it Lady Pifflington? Oh, maybe it was Professor Poodle Hair? I think I'll just wait till I can watch the end. Might be a while till you can do that, Norman. Oh, no! My DVD! Now I'll never find out who did it. Never mind all that, Norman. You know that children should never light candles. Well, we know who did that. A grown-up should light them, and they should be kept in a safe place away from pets. Sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. Ah, you Ew. stink! Ah. Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope, past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hill. Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope, past the crossroads on Ponty Pandy Hills. Are you hurt? Sam's ready. The stretcher's ready. Then let's go. <laughs> Oof. How's the horse? He was very scared, but I patted him and told him not to worry. Oh, well done, Mandy. The horse is very calm. Now, let's give him a check. Okay, Mandy. To get you up, just to be safe, I need you to lie on a stretcher. Lie flat for me. Ah, the horse is fine. We're ready for Phoenix's crane. Hold Phoenix. <sighs> there, there. Sam, I'm gonna keep the horse calm as you strap him into the sling, but do it slowly, okay? Oh, that's it. Stay nice and calm. And 
He's out. Thanks, Lizzie. Well, how about some more beans, partner? <laughs> yeah. Ah, I think I've had enough. Well, looky here. Everybody's back, eh? And we even got some guests. Come on in, everybody. You know, I didn't really have riding lessons. I'm sorry for saying I did. Mandy, it's not a good idea to ride horses unless you know how to. Maybe I should have some lessons. I think I like horses after all. This is the tale of a cowboy ghost. Strong tide tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way! Look! That must be from Sam! Are we glad to see you, Sam? Is everyone okay? We're all fine, Sam. Just a bit wet. Right. Help is here. Let's get you all out of the water. You all must know that you should never go out on a boat without telling anyone where you're going. You didn't even have any life jackets or flares. We're really sorry, Sam. Well, it's a good thing Norman and Hannah were looking for you, or no one would have known you were missing. We're very sorry our little society caused such distress, Fireman Sam. Did you hear that? They admitted it! They are a secret society! They were trying to lure the Moon Men to Ponty Pandy, and we... The Y-Files spoil their plan! Oh, no, no, no! We don't lure moon men! They're a stargazing society! Oh, I see! Wait, how did you know that, Hannah? Uh, I mean, Agent Sparks? I'm a Y-Files investigator, remember? Actually, I just looked at their laptop. <laughs> so why were you so secretive? We've discovered a new star. And we're going to be the ones to name it. That's what I thought. Unfortunately, according to the Star Watcher website, the star you were trying to look at was discovered last month. Oh, oh what a shame. Oh, well, that's another Y Files case closed. Uh, Fireman Sam, would you like to join our Y Files team? Huh? Uh, no, no. Uh, thank you, Norman. I think I'll just leave that to you two experts. Well, it doesn't look like they managed to find a toy for the little prince. Oh. But it does look like Dillis managed to sell them a jar of pickles from the discount aisle. Hooray! Ooh, Dillis will be pleased. She's been trying to use those up before they go out of date. Ooh, they're coming out. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Roger that, sir. Um, but sir, if Tom is stuck on a ledge, who is going to fly the rescue helicopter? I can fly a helicopter. Oh. Thanks, Sam. That was a close one. But now we'll have missed the prince. He'll have 
will have gone by the time we get back. But who is... Huh? What? Um... Anyone need a lift to Ponty Pandy? What? Greetings, and welcome to Ponty Pandy, your highnesses. Well done, all of you. A fine achievement for the Ponty Pandy cadets. <laughs> oh, wait! Ahem. I brought this for the little prince. Thank you, Mandy. I'm sure he'll like it more than Dillis's discounted pickles. What do you mean? My mom told me they were one of the essential foods. I've been eating them with my cereal for a month. Done, everybody. I think that went quite well. <sighs> uh -oh. Quick, everyone, jump clear! It's going into the sea. Ooh. Sam, the stage has slid into the sea. Yes, it has, Elvis. Aren't we going to need the helicopter to get the stage back out before the mayor of Newtown visits next week?